Hi friends, Cole here. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm at Freshwater Beach this morning. Um, yeah, it's a good place. Good place to come and start my day, tapping into a bit of nature instead of right into the tech side of things. Um, so while I do have my phone here filming, I have not checked any news or social media. So that's, that's, a, that's a win for me. And just wanted to introduce some mindfulness today. So just a simple mindfulness meditation. Well, it sounds very simple, but it's, it can be quite challenging to stay with the present moment and to stay with ourselves. So mindfulness meditation is a little bit different than maybe you've done, if you're new at meditation, maybe you've done some guided meditations before, which are really beautiful to kind of drop us in, um, or some visual, visualizations, some other things that kind of help to focus our attention. So mindfulness is different in the fact that where we're focusing our intention, our attention is what's happening in the present moment, what's happening with our breath, what's happening with the sensations in our body. And we begin to, from this, learn more about our mind, learn what it is, learn what it isn't, um, learn about our thoughts, Hopefully we begin to realize that we aren't our thoughts, that they can come and go and a lot of them are fiction. So it's kind of a mind training almost that we get to know and investigate so that then we can decipher and understand what is ours, what is it, what is conditionings and stories we've been told versus what's actually just happening in the present moment. And we're actually just inhaling and we're exhaling and we may have pleasant sensations or unpleasant sensations and we begin to learn how we relate to things, relate to ourselves. We can begin to notice what thoughts are penetrating. Um, often, like are we lost in worry a lot? Are we lost in fantasy? Um, one of my teachers, Noah Levine says, what's the hustle of your mind? Like how is your mind hustling you? And I really like that because you know, it does. Um, going back and having the same argument over and over, I should have said this, or I should have said that. And you know, what are the ways that we escape? So that's a much bigger question that I talk about a lot uh, when I'm talking about addiction and stuff. But how do we escape rather than um, escaping through drugs and alcohol? Let's just think about escaping the present moment. How do you leave the present moment? What takes your attention? Is it something in the past or something that hasn't happened yet? Worrying about things that are out of our control is a really big one. So lots of different things. We have a plethora of ways that we avoid just being. So mindfulness meditation um, can be very, very challenging, but it's so good in order to get to know that part of ourselves to realize, oh, I'm doing that, I'm doing that again. And this isn't, so a, a very important note, this isn't another place to shame ourselves and to not do it right. Because the thing is, is we're gonna do it wrong over and over and over and over again. But it's really not wrong. It's, it's a training, it's a practice. So let's give it a go and see what happens. We're always shifting. Like I say in yoga, in our, in our physical practice, you know, we come with a different body all the time. So our body's always shifting. So always investigate, always be curious, always explore. Bring that same idea to the meditation practice of just like, what, how am I today? What is, what is happening uh, for me today? So I really like to do it in the morning um, because I kind of can welcome myself. Actually saying hello to ourselves. I really like this idea. So let's close our eyes down. I'm gonna sit a little wonky just cause I'm on the rocks here but I invite you to find a comfortable position. This can be um, with your legs crossed. It can be in cobbler's pose up on, um, on your heels. It can be in a seat if you'd like, however you'd like to sit. Or you can sit on a rock by the beach, whatever you'd like to do. 
but find something that feels comfortable. Maybe tilt your pelvis backwards and forwards a little bit to find that center spot. I also like to kind of play with uh, bringing my chin back a little bit or moving my head around just a little bit to find that center spot. We have all of these patterns, not only in our life pertaining to um, where we get our beliefs and our, our, our thoughts and our values, but we have these patterns in our body as well. Like we may not realize that we sit with our head forward or we may not realize that we um, have an anterior tilt. So this is all about an investigation. Begin to notice your breath. So without the urge to change anything, just notice. And then now maybe you make it a little bit bigger. You just enhance it slightly. So you push the rib cages to the edges a little bit more. Bring the breath to the edge a little bit more. Let the face relax, the jaw relax, even let the eyeballs settle in. Instead of darting around, let them just kind of settle in the socket. And really the instruction is to notice. Notice the pattern of the breath. If there's any adhesions, is the breath even, the inhale and the exhale? It doesn't have to be, but just noticing. Very likely you've noticed so far that you have went into a thought of maybe I'm not doing this right or this is hard or this is boring or uh, my coworker shouldn't have said that or who knows. And when that happens, just notice what it is. Like, oh, I'm thinking about the past. I'm criticizing. I'm, you know, we're just labeling what's going on so we get to know the patterns of our mind. So nothing's good, nothing's bad, but we're noticing uh, what's, what's going on. Well, maybe you bring your awareness to sensations in your body. Maybe you can feel your heartbeat if you really listen in. can feel the wind on my skin. Maybe you can feel where your hands are touching your thighs or your legs are touching your yoga mat. you hear? Very likely you can hear the ocean behind me. So letting that come in your awareness, the sound of the waves of my voice. And then what can you hear in your space? What is happening right now in this moment? What can you hear?
Let's bring it back to the breath. When you notice that you're off in thought, then you're already on your way back because it's the noticing that brings you home. Home being breath, home being body. So it's that noticing that's the pivot point. So rather than letting ourselves be like, oh, there I am again. It's like, oh, I can go home. So a few more rounds of breath. See if you can stay with your breath just for three rounds here. Even this, and notice how even this is so challenging. Bring a smile to your face. And let it be. It's kind of, kind of humorous that this is so challenging, but it is for all of us. And I really believe that this like playful curiosity, this gentle curiosity is the best way to explore. So thank yourself for exploring and slowly we can open our eyes. Letting sensation and surroundings come in, light. Noticing if your energy feels any different a little more dropped in possibly. Um, you may feel a little more easeful or peaceful, or you may be really frustrated <laughs> right now. And that's all normal, absolutely. Uh, meditation is not easy. It's not easy for me, but I, I, uh, I understand the medicine. And really it's about getting to know ourselves better. And that I think is the most important thing that we can do. Like that's the most important way that I can spend my energy is deepening and understanding uh, my relationship with myself because that dominoes out to my relationship with everyone around me and the world and oh, we could just do with a little more a little more awareness and a little more kindness I think everywhere so let me know what you think let me know what your experience was let me know what you felt and yeah I invite you to just try this for five minutes a day Set your alarm. There's, an, there's a meditation alarm called Insight Timer. So when the alarm goes off, it's actually like a bell. It's really nice. So it's not like the alarm ding. And it can be nice to kind of keep a journal even, to just track, write a few sentences about your experience, to kind of see that really allows us to become aware of like, oh yeah, I am so different on every day. We tend to think that we have this fixed identity that we're like this underneath, we're the same person, but we shift all the time. We always have different emotions coming in, different worries, different fears, different, um, even to the point of the, the amount of sleep or the stress or the food that's in our body, like everything is always shifting. So we bring that curiosity of getting to know ourselves again all the time. I just think that it's, I think that it's medicine. I love it. But thank you. Um, yeah, for sharing this with me. I have some really exciting trainings coming up. Um, Emerge Recovery is going to go on again. And this is an eight week exploration of self. And we do it in a community. And we really are looking at uh, different sorts of addiction, not just substance addiction, but the way that we can use negative self-talk. We can um, be addicted to people, to situations, to worry, to control so many things. So addictions and destructive behaviors, we learn how to find more freedom around these. And it's a really beautiful and deep process. And it's an eight week um, process. And then doing my first teacher training with a dear sister of mine, Jacqueline St. Pierre. And you may have known her from Yoga TX, so she has some videos here as well. And we're doing our 200 hour teacher training. And we're doing that in a full online version and then also an online and hybrid uh, in person. So you do part online and then we meet in Austin, Texas in the spring to do the other part. So check online um, about when those dates and times and stuff are. And we'd love to explore deeper. So thank you so much. Namaste.